Ian Paisley Jr. has been ordered to reveal the name of the person who told him that documents were destroyed after the murder of leading loyalist Billy Wright at the Mays prison. Mr Paisley has been refusing to disclose his source and today he was served with a High Court summons at Stormont. John Cook reports. There was a moment of drama at Stormont this morning as Ian Paisley Jr. faced the next stage of his legal battle with the Billy Wright inquiry. What is it? He was served with a court summons by a solicitor relating to the inquiry into the killing of the LVF leader at the Mays prison. They want to know the source of Mr Paisley's claim that files were destroyed after Wright's death. Six weeks ago, the original deadline passed for Ian Paisley to give up the information, but he says he will not betray his source. I have made it very, very clear and made it clear to the solicitors acting for the Billy Wright Tribunal and to the court that I can't hand over this name. I won't hand over this name. I will take this name to my grave because that is the commitment which I gave to uh, the source whenever that source came to me. He thinks public opinion will be on his side. If the courts think that it is the sensible and credible thing for them to do, to put a public representative in jail for the very first time on an issue of contempt like this, I honestly think the public would say that is completely and totally overreacting to what is required in this particular case. Ian Paisley Jr. says he wants this matter dealt with as soon as possible. He says it's been dragged out by the inquiry. As ever, the courts will decide. John Cook, UTV Live, Stormont.